Look at this. It's like I'm in a fucking HD TV service right now with all these fucking advertisements. We've got my Twitch login right up there. Or my, not my login, but my Twitch address right there. We've got my Snapchat right over there. And then over there, if you didn't know, I'm not a fucking duchy. Alright, let's get going with this. Actually, you know what? Here, I have an idea. Alt tab. Get back into here. Turn the volume a bit up. And then go back into Amnesia. If it'll go back in. There we go. Now you can hear it a, a bit better. <laughs> Alright, let's create a new one. What? I only I only did all the, like the naming and stuff because um there was black space and I don't really want any like empty black space unless it's for the uh for clone hero. I'm really weird, I don't know. <laughs> so let's go. Select and start. Yep. This is a remastered playthrough of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Why? Because I thought it'd be fun. I'm just being honest. I thought it'd be really fun to do a remastered playthrough of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Because it's been a few years since I've played this game. And I always like coming back to it. I actually bought this game on Steam, so it's a bit better. Alright, so, the main premise of Amnesia the Dark Descent, if you don't know, if you've never seen this game before, uh, it basically, you have had a troubled past, a very, very troubled past, that even you don't want to live through. You, why am I not looking at the camera? That you, like, not even you want to live through. So, um, so you drink this serum, this amnesia serum. That, well, gives you amnesia. And you're trying to remember, but you don't want to. And you're trying to stop this dude, Alexander, from, like, making a mess of the joint. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the basic premise of the game. Um, the game starts off just, like, as a walkthrough kind of thing. Nothing terrible. Got it. Uh, yeah. Oof. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn up the brightness just a bit. I actually got this game on Steam. So, last time I got it on Media Fire, this time I got it on Steam. Y'all can't see the... the boost in brightness, but I can, so... We're not gonna go in there. We're just gonna stay in here, chill in here. I was gonna say something else. I forgot. Um, if uh my voice sounds kinda weird, it's because I have um tonsillitis. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go to the doctor today to get that checked out. Um but yeah. Also if you see me make that face, then uh I swallowed a bit and it also hurts to swallow. So there's that. More programming the bugs going through the wall. That didn't happen in the actual playthrough, in the full playthrough that I did. I mean, this is a full playthrough, but whatever. Is this the third time that I'm recording me playing Amnesia? I'm not gonna fall for your lies. I think this is the third time I'm recording myself playing Amnesia. Like, all the way through. Because I did the original playthrough uh, back in, like, 
I want to say 20... 2014 or 2015, I want to say. No, wait. It was... Yeah, it was 2015-ish. Um, I did the original playthrough. And then I did the long play in 2016. Uh, where I did hour-long episodes, and I beat the game in five episodes. So, it was like four and a half-ish hours that I beat the game. So, yeah. We can we can fully sprint now, because we're scared. And this is where we get the lantern. Nope. You're not going to fly out of my hands now. I already picked it up. <laughs> Silly game. Yeah, we have a bit of oil in here. Um, I got a new keyboard. It's a uh, Drivo Grammar 84. It's very nice. It's a uh, I got it for forty-five dollars. It's you can you have your choice of a uh, red switches, blue switches, uh, black switches, or brown switches. And I got the red switch keyboard because I'm trying to not feel my addiction for blue switch keyboards. <laughs> Plus, we'll, we'll, we'll hear Daniel talk. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Basically. Alright. We have oil, I believe. Did we get the oil? Yeah, we did. Alright, there's a switch over here. Pull the switch. And here we go. I was gonna say something else. Forgot. Yeah, yeah. Alexander, is it inside the castle? Ah, stop it. In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. Come, come, my lady. Finery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact... What? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we're in here now. Another memory, nice. Oh, stop. Alright, so in here we're gonna look for some uh, things and stuff. Well, actually, we have a note. I'm gonna get the glass jar. I'm gonna read this. I read the chemistry pot, I mean. should be more Kubrack. This is my, oh, early alchemic, alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lacked, a, lacked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are all given, are all given and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, 
in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and, pr and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to, violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use this recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Alright. Tinderbox. No, over there. No, oh, it's a box. Come here. Come on. There you go. And then there's one of these. One day I will return. If it if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love. Excuse me. I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for the power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. I got the, uh... Oh. There's one. Oh, that's an oil, not not things. Oh, there we go. There we go. Chemical reaction. Oh, relocation. The lack of a chemi the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will dif be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. So we gotta go to the wine cellar. And down here is our friend. <laughs> it's the crank. If you don't know what the crank is, uh, it is a beast of burden. A true beast of burden. It's uh, not a good one. Um, it's basically one of the, um, it's, how would I explain it? Um, the Karnk, well, it's a water monster, uh, that chases you down in E2. It is also invisible, uh, so it's even scarier, but you can see it through the, uh, foot, the splashes in the water. That's all you can, that's all you're given. Get away from me. Um, and, um, 13 minutes, uh, should I do 20 minutes an episode? I'm mm, sure. Um, and, um, it's a sort of, um, reference point in the game. When you pass, when you pass the conk, you're about a quarter of the way into the game. So, there's that. Uh, Mm, more like a third, because well, no, it's it really is kind of like a quarter, quarter of the way into the game, because then you have the uh, the storage and all that, and then you have the jail, and then you have the sewers, and then there's the rest, and then there's the inner sanctum, and then the rest of the game and all that. So yeah, it's around like a fifth to a quarter of the game.
the digs should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. All right. I know I know exactly what they're talking about, but uh, I'm not going to spoil it. So if we got over here, bones, books. One of them has bones in it. That's funny. Alright. Someone's stomach is growly. Grumbly. Get out of here. I'll read you in a minute. More books. Nothing. Tinderbox. Nothing. Now right, what's up? Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Yep. Alright, then the third paper. I actually don't know where it is. Where did this go? Just goes in here. Ah, a book fell. <laughs> Oil and in a box. Ah, uh, haunted harpsichord. <laughs> mm. Nothing else in here, I think. Any papers I missed? What's this? Nothing. Roar. It won't open. It's locked. Alright. Do to do, do to do to do. -do, -do, -do. No. Wait, is there something on the on the mantle? Ah, yes, there it is. How does that work? I honestly am. <laughs> and memory. No? No memory? Yep, there we go. Structures. 
the ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. All right. Is there a paper anywhere nearby? Well, it's in the box. Not a paper though. All right, I'll light the way. Oops. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. And come on. Boop. Yep. Actually, we'll keep this up. Ah, oh, there's a paper in there. Can I get one of these books? I cannot. Wait, can I get one of these? No. It's on the floor, though. Oh, yeah. There we go. Local folklore. Allstad and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich will, rich with lore is Allstad. Deep within east, the e deep within the e uh, I have a hair in my mouth. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brunnenberg. The quiet, forest-clad mountains, dressed with gathered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them, all of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs, motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the. Mm, how much is this? Mm, Y'all can read it. Just pause it. Pause it. There's the gatherers. A visit undone. And the immortal baron. Alright, have fun reading it. Alright. Oh, yeah. Go in here. Skeleton? Bones? Books. Ah, here we go, page. Well, Helm and his fools have endangered my research log enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matters have been handled. With. Handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It should, it would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Nope. And nothing. Alright. Once I pick up this key, you will hear a monster sound, and we will get very scared, and there will be scary music, but nothing else will happen. Let's see if anything is actually there. No. But this door is open now. So that's good. Let's see. Ah, there we go. There was one. He's a poofer though, so he's gone. That is the patrolling music. Yeah, he's gone. What the hell? What?
What in the hell? Jesus. I don't think this happened in the last playthrough. What happened this time? Yep. There we go. So that's how I trigger it. Alright, cool. And now my sanity is severely dropped. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. And over here. Nothing. Nothing on the hearth either. Looks like blood. Alright. What? Jesus. Y'all need to chill. Like, seriously. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, well, we have the wine cellar key now. Jesus, 26 minutes. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll go into the wine cellar in the next episode.